Hello guys, and welcome to part two of this uh, little tutorial series on loops. And I believe we were just getting to the goods part on our number guessing game, where we've just uh, created a while loop, uh, which compares our the user's guess to our value x, and we just printed out a little prompt uh, for him to enter a number between 1 to 10, and we've set the user's guess equal to any number he enters. Uh, so anyways, let's get, con get uh, continue on with this. And really, all we have left to do after he enters his guess is we simply need to uh, continue looping. There's really nothing left there. And, and it would work fine if we just did that, but instead we just want to make this slightly more, you know, uh, user-friendly. And instead of uh, simply uh, kind of, you know, continuing uh, running the program and just terminating when he ends, we would probably want to, you know, give him some encouragement and some tips. So all we really, we're really going to do is make an if statement. We're going to say, if is user guess, if user guess is less than x, what do we want to do? Well, if user guess is less than x, we're just going to print out print ln too low with uh, end quotes, of course. Too low. Uh, sorry. System dot out dot print line. Okay, too low. And we're gonna say else if. Remember using our else if skills now. Else if user guess is greater than x. We are gonna print out system dot out uh, dot print ln too high. And that just kind of gives him a pointer. Uh, if the if the number is greater if the number he's uh, entering is less than or greater than the number we want to lead him to so I don't know we're kind of we're kind of nesting an if block inside this while loop and once again all this if block is doing it's saying well is this user get is this the is the guess of the user less than the value we want we're gonna say too low else if the user guess is greater uh, than the value he wants to guess it's we're just gonna print out too high and then it's gonna respawn uh, and yeah Pretty much that's all that's going to happen. Or else, there's also one option. Else everything went um, fine and he actually guessed our number. We are just going to print out you... Wait. Alright. You have guessed the number. You have guessed the number. All gonna make it seem epic I'll tremble in your rage no 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 in your mo in your power I'll tremble before your power okay this is this wasn't really supposed to be a literature class but you know I'll tremble before your power but you know I'm trying to make it seem epic we need to make him make him feel awesome you know what I'm saying it's all part of part of the business here so anyways this program should work fine and else if else means that the user guess is equal to x, uh, so that practically means we want to print out uh, an encouraging statement, and when it loops again, if user guess is equal to... Oh, wait a second. Alright, I've kind of screwed up here. Alright. I've been telling you guys... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is kind of embarrassing, but... Uh... This program really won't work, <laughs> cause what we're what we've been saying, while user guess is equal to x, well our user guess is zero and x is six, so, <laughs> uh, so it'll always be uh, it'll always be false and it'll skip this entire code block. What we really wanted to do is we wanted to say while well, user guess is not equal to x, and the way we say that is by putting an exclamation point before this equals sign. Oh my god. Alright, that is such that is such a fail. Alright. I feel I feel embarrassed now. Alright guys, please please excuse my uh, lack of care. But yes of course if user guess is not equal to X, do we actually want to run this entire program where he re enters his guess and we give him suggestions. Alright guys, I am I am so sorry right now. Uh, alright, I'm so, alright. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> let's just break this program down again. Uh, so while user guess is not equal to x, 
if his guess is wrong, then we want to print out, to, we want to prompt him to enter a number again. We want to give him advice. We want to say if it's less than X, the number he wants to guess, we're going to say too low. If it's greater than X or the number he wants to get, we're going to say too high. And or else, that means it's just if the use guess user guess is equal to X, we're just going to print out a nice encouraging statement. And when the code loops again, it's going to say, well, user guess is equal to X. So that means this statement is false. Uh, so I'm just going to move on. And that's what the compiler is going to do. And everything's going to work great. So anyways, let's hit that play button on there. And our guess is 6. Our, our number is 6. Just keep that in mind. So enter a number from 1 to 10. Uh, 2. Too low. Enter a number from 1 to 10. And that's right, because 6 is 2 is 2 is less than 6. If we enter 8, it's going to say too high. Enter a number from 1 to 10. Uh, uh, what about 5? Still too low? 6? You have guessed the number. All tremble before your power. Terminated. Wow. Okay, guys. This is this is a program that's working professionally. That's it. We need it. We need to put this baby on the market and make millions. I am I am so ready. I know this is gonna work. That's it. Let's get a marketing campaign. You know. All right. Uh, enough of those dreams. But thanks for watching, guys. I am very sorry for my error right here. Uh, but anyways, I hope you've kind of absorbed the the gist of this tutorial. But anyways, let's let's quickly rerun this tutorial uh, for the sake of it. So import java.util.scanner. We need to scanner the user guesses. Uh, we create a myscan variable, create an x variable, the variable we're going to want to compare the user guesses to. Uh, the user guess we need to preset that to zero so we can use it as a condition right here as a true/false condition or a boolean condition. Uh, while user guess is not equal to x, while his guess is wrong, we're going to want to prompt him for another guess. Store that in the user guess. Uh, and we're going to say, if if that's less than the value you wanted to guess, it's too low. Greater than that, too high. Or uh, else is just right. He guessed it. We well, have to write, you have guessed the number. I'll tremble before your power. And it, re, uh, it starts looping again. But once the user guess is equal to x, it's just going to skip this code and continue on. So anyways, guys, that was a pretty large two-part tutorial. Thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you next time, guys. Thank you.